great song. Totally. I have cancer. I was wrong. I was wrong. Nice it was, it was weird. It's yeah. weird like that. Yeah, it's not too it, soon. It doesn't sound cool. No. <laughs> that's 50-50, as in 50% chance of beating cancer, 50% not. Well, Joseph Gordon-Levitt is diagnosed with a tumor, and his best friend, you know, Seth Rogen, tries to cheer him up. Mr. Movie Phone, what an interesting mix here. So you've got to tackle a sad subject with funniness, and I'm thinking that maybe you may have liked it better than 50-50. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a cancer comedy. And as you know, Robin, nothing says good times like cancer. And so you're right. It's a weird mix. And, and I did like this movie a lot. It's a story of a young man who at 27 is diagnosed with cancer. And, and really it devastates him. But he has a best friend, like you said, played by Seth Rogen, who, uh, who really helps him through his troubling times using humor. Uh, and, and I love the cast. I, I, I really love everything about it. Um, Anna Kendrick, Bryce Dallas Howard, Angelica Houston, they also star. And this movie is much more uplifting, much more reaffirming than it is depressing. So, like you were saying, Robin, I think you're, you have a 100% chance of loving 50-50. Go check it out. I'm in. I, I like that. It's probably going to help a lot of people because, I mean, that's, that's a real-world issue. And no matter how bad things are, you sometimes have to deal with it with some humor. All right. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. I think humor was attempted at what's your number, but this everybody loves Anna Ferris, right? But did this make you laugh? Well, you know, I got maybe two or three tiny yuckles out of this movie. Uh, what's your number, Robin, refers to how many sexual partners you have had. Because what happens is Anna Ferris reads a magazine that says if you go over 20, you are just all used up and you're never, ever going to get married. So she goes back after her old boyfriends to find out if maybe there was somebody in there worth checking out. This movie wants to be Bridesmaids. I think the commercial says it's 20 times funnier. It's not a tenth as funny. Anna Ferris really seems a little old for, for, for the part. And, uh, and, and really, I was very disappointed because I like her. She's charming. But this movie doesn't deliver any laughs. It's trying way too hard. And so we're out for this movie. You know, much to its chagrin that it came out the same year that Bridesmaids did. Bad timing right there. And then there's something right. called Dreamhouse with wonderful actors, but nobody got to screen it. This. Yeah, that's the weird thing. No screening for a movie with a great director and great actors. We're going to have to figure out what's going on with this one. Okay. That's Rachel Weisz, right? And who is that? Craig? Naomi Watts. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Daniel Craig.